you know, we had a very challenging large car sequence with a full-size runaway armored car. It weighs 15,000 pounds, and at 35 miles an hour, it hits, you know, two or three cars. Nothing stops this armored car. <laughs> Quite an orchestra of you know all the different you know departments between the visual effects along with the special effects crew and how they're going to move things and okay they got wires running here to to pull the cars and then we have our people what so we got to be clear of okay this car is going to go from here to here and what's safe and what's not safe and then you got to work with camera so that they capture all the moments it becomes quite a dance between all the departments especially for that large of a shot and the Armor car sequence, I, I needed to slow a car down from you know, 40 miles an hour to zero at the side of a you know, garbage truck you know, with cameras in the front of it, so obviously there's no crash allowed. And it, we had to be at speed up until about 40 feet from the truck. And it's like, well, how are we going to do that? I went back to my climbing days as a college student. said, so, you know, they used to have these screamers that if you were to f accidentally fall, there's a screamer or fall arrestor there that would take a certain amount of energy to tear through each row of stitching, so it's a decelerator in a sense. And uh, I said, yeah, let's just build a car-sized one. Camera and action! I have to say, that, you know, there are times in the, uh, doing the armored car sequence, there were shots that I set up I did when I was, you know, 10 with my matchbox cars. And now they're, <laughs> they're real-sized cars, and the cops are holding traffic for me. It's fantastic.